So the first thing we got to look at is adding points to our power button here. This is anticipation of our move. So right now we're going to use our feature point button to add three points to our surface here. Uh, first method we're going to use is using the select feature and using the U and V method to position points according to uh, a grid laid out on this feature. So for this first point, I'm going to try and position it uh, towards the edge over here. So by adjusting the U and V, I can control where that point is positioned on the surface. And then we have a little target here, which shows us where that point will be placed. So I'm going to say create point, and we're going to add a point to that surface. Uh, another method of creating a point is fast creation. This is going to put a point simply wherever your mouse is positioned when you click. So if I want my second point to be about here, I'll click and it will add the point to that location. Uh, the third method we're going to use is uh, with DCS points. So those first two were feature based, so those points are tied to the surface. We can also add points based off the coordinates and vectors alone. So for this third point, I'm going to add a point uh, to this top corner up here. vector going in the negative x direction. So when I say apply, that point will get added to that uh, location based off these coordinates with these vectors. So those are our three points that we added. That's going to establish our primary plane for our move. We're also going to use these two holes for our four-way and two-way locators to fully constrain this power button to this button plate here. 